With temporary pacemakers, we can set both the atrial and ventricular sensitivity. This is the minimum millivolts that a P or R wave needs to be for the pacemaker to see it. If the pacemaker is too sensitive, seeing too much, it may see signals that are not the heart, such as the diaphragm, and inhibit itself inappropriately and not pace when it should. This is called oversensing. Undersensing is when the pacemaker isn't sensitive enough and it does not see a real electrical signal from the heart and paces when it shouldn't. In this strip, the pacemaker isn't seeing the patient's own QRS complexes, so it is pacing the ventricle unnecessarily. So if your pacemaker isn't pacing the patient appropriately, the sensitivity may need to be adjusted. But here's a trick. Turning up the sensitivity on the box makes the pacemaker less sensitive. This can be confusing, so here's how I remember which way to turn the dial. Here's the pacemaker, and here's the heart, and anything else the pacemaker might see. Between them is a wall, which is the sensitivity. When I turn up the sensitivity to a higher number, I'm making that wall higher, so it's harder for the pacemaker to see the heart. The pacemaker is less sensitive. When I turn down the sensitivity, I'm making the wall between the pacemaker and the heart shorter, so it's easier for the pacemaker to see the heart.